If it's all about dollars, why doesn't the U.S. government go one step further? Why don't they say, guess what? If you're married to somebody with red hair, we're not helping you out. I mean, years ago, when they first started all this, they had to say, well, married couples get some benefit. What's the real difference? Well, the difference is, take for instance health care. If you have health care as an LGBT couple, you have to pay income tax on that benefit for your partner. That's an additional five or six thousand dollars just because you're LGBT. Social Security, if you pass, your partner may not get Social Security even though you paid into it. Uh, if there's a disparity in income rates, you may pay more taxes uh, being um, LGBT. So it really is all about the dollars. So you think, you know, those who say this is about culture, it's not. It's really, at the end of the day, about the bottom line? It is. I mean, I think it's, it's everybody wants to pay the same amount of taxes. I mean, that's what you pay for being in this country, but no one wants to pay more than anyone else. So I think it should be tax equality. I think that's what people are rallying around right now. If Defense of Marriage Act DOMA is overturned, are same-sex couples treated exactly the same as heterosexual couples? I mean, are there any loopholes, other loopholes that we haven't come up with? Well, you have to be married. If the Defense of Marriage Act is overturned and you're married, which means you're in a state that legally recognizes married, then you would have exactly the same uh, tax benefits as a heterosexual couple. If you're in a registered domestic property state that does not allow marriage, you do not get those benefits. Well, you currently are working with many, many LGBT couples. How are you advising them? Well, we're asking them to look at their, their tax rate. And if there's a benefit for them of filing uh, before DOMA's overturned, we're saying file now. If there's a benefit for them if DOMA's overturned, we're saying perhaps you should wait to file this year's tax returns and file protective refund claims for the open years, which could go as far back as 2009, 2010, and 2011. So you really have to understand what your tax situation is. But for a lot of people, they will save taxes if their uh, marriage is legally recognized. Well, what about the marriage penalty clause? What are the cons of equality? Well, you, there is a penalty if you are a similar income, you do pay about $3,000 more in taxes by filing uh, married. And so that, that everybody would pay that penalty. Nanette, is there a distinction between female same-sex couples versus male same-sex couples? There is no no issue. It's it's a it, you know whether it's trans you know transgender, uh, lesbian or uh, male gay couples. It's the same uh, discrimination at this point. What about the treatment of dependents, though? Well, you they do get their dependents, but they would get them as a head of household, not necessarily as a married. So they would uh, they have to figure out which one would get the dependent, and so there there's always that that computation who is paying more. So it becomes easier. I mean, right now they have to file a uh, it, say for instance in California, you file a joint return in California, then you file separate uh, federal returns that are allocated. So you're filing three different sets of tax returns just to file your taxes. So mm. it's not only the tax cost; it's also the cost of professional fees. The cost of Nanette, what do you want to see out of these hearings? Our D.C. reporter Megan Hughes was saying emotions are running high outside the hearings right now. What's your ultimate goal? Well, my goal is tax equality. I think everybody should say, pay the same amount of tax. So I really think it's an equality issue and that the, it, it should be, you should not be penalized how you live your lifestyle. Final question, what kind of timeline do you have for overturning DOMA if that does happen? Well, it, it's it's when it's either the the Supreme Court is going to you know either issue it b between now and the fall at the end of the of the session. So that's the timeline, and people need to file their protective claims now if there's going to be a benefit.